Hey, what's up guys and welcome back to Ask NK. Today, we're going to talk about how you can animate hands by simply using a hand gesture puppeteering tool, which you can get for free. Now, animating hands is one of those annoying and stressful things that you would actually do as an animator. In most cases, this could be fun. In most cases, this could be very, very annoying. And that is one of the main reasons why motion capture solutions tend to shy away from this. Contrary to the number of joints you have on the human body all the way from the head down to the ankle and also to the wrist. The human hand alone consists of over 30 bones as we do have 3 bones per finger. That is the total number of joints that animators have to deal with especially when they have to animate both hands and these animations could be as simple as folding, grabbing and also flexing the fingers. But today we're looking at the tool that will definitely change all of that contrary to buying hand gloves or maybe trying to spend so much time animating by hand you can now easily use the hand gesture puppeteering to 2.0 from the folks at Relution for iClone to get things up and running. So we're going to take a look at how this one works as it's super simple. For you to get this going, you need to go over to the marketplace and you would see the hand gesture puppeteering 2.0. This is a free add-on, which is also part of the tons of free add-ons that you can get from the folks at Relution. So we'll simply add this to cat, download this, and this will download as a zip file. Now, once this downloads as a zip file, all you need to do is open up the directory where you installed your Relution product, go over to iClone and open up iClone and inside of iClone open up the folder called bean64. Directly in bean64 look for the folder called open plugins. Now with open plugins there all you need to do is extract the file and copy and paste. But for our case since we're using bandzip and it's a free software which you can download for unzipping and compressing your file we're just going to drag directly from bandzip and paste it directly into that folder. Now with that done the next thing which we need to do is open up iClone 7. So with iClone 7 open, the first thing which you need to do is go over to plugin, then go down here to where you have Python samples and you would notice that we have the hand gesture puppeteering. Click on this button and automatically you would notice that you have the hand gesture puppeteering window that pops up. So how do we work with this? So how we can work with this is relatively easy. Get a character and to do that you need to go over to the avatar section and for this we're just going to get this model. So this is like uh, the default model that you can work with. So we're just going to grab that one all the way out and zoom right into it. So for this one, I'm just gonna bring this right about the point like so. So let's talk about this. For this to work, you'll notice that we have a couple of targets. All of these are the hand targets that you can retarget the hand motion to. And you can easily change these things and you can work in a multi-way or a two-point direction. So how we can work with a multi or a two-point direction is as easy as hitting the preview button, press the space bar, and right now you notice it's set to two points. You can also set this to multi-point. So if you press the space bar, it starts previewing. So when I start moving this, depending on the hand that I have selected here, that is when you get to start seeing the movement. So we can move from this target to this target back to the you know the basic one go over here 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 and here so if you press the space bar one more time it's going to stop and if you want the two points you can click on the two points click on preview then press the space bar to start previewing and that way you can easily preview based off two points so you can travel from one point to another and from one point to another and in this form you can get things happening so i know a couple of you guys might want to get some movements in both hands and that is super easy because once you click on hands you'll be able to do the same movement on both hands so for that if you click right here on the multi point press the preview button and then go over here press the space bar you can now preview on both hands so this is going to add more life to your character especially if you have a character that is having a conversation you know those tiny gestures that the hand actually does so with this here we can also choose to add some custom targets so for those who like to add some custom targets you can do that in two ways one of them is by going over to the animation section and then going over to the gestures now within the gestures you would notice that i have a couple of gestures and these gestures can be loaded onto the hand and you can select between the hold or the sign for any of these ones that you want. So let's say for example, we want to load up a sign. So let's go ahead and look for a very cool sign like this. Click, drag and drop and that gets loaded. All right, this is pretty nice. So we can see this and one thing to note is it loads them on both hands, okay? Now if we like this to become a target which we can reference at any point in time, we can also do this. So how we can do it is, you know, pretty simple. We can go over to the target point which we want. So for example, we want this, click on it, 
a menu pops up and you can simply say replace with right hand gesture. So once you click on that, automatically it replaces it. And there are several ways that you can replace this. You can position this properly, click on this button and then click on replace with right hand gesture. And you notice that we have that hand gesture. So what happens is the plugin takes a screen capture of the gesture and that gesture can be stored in right here. Now, if you go through and hit the preview button, press the space bar and move from one hand, all right, or one target to another. If you go over, you notice it gives you that stuff. So you can now store targets and you can have this. So in total, you have six plus one targets that you can go from. And this is the base target. So you can go from these other ones. So it simply means you can save multiple targets. But for those who would also like to keyframe their own targets, you want to make sure that you have that finger looking exactly how you want it to look you can also do that so for that i'm going to go back and load up a very simple preset so let's go ahead and load up a very simple preset like so and then if you go over here to where we have animations you can go down to edit motion layer this will pop out a window which you can use to pose the body hand and also the fingers and this can be very useful for animation and quick posing of various parts of the model now this doesn't change any of the pre-existing things that you have going on here this only gives you the option for you to make changes to the hand gesture as you walk. So for this one, what we're going to do now is uh, relatively simple. So let's say, for example, we would like to fold the right hand. So I'm just going to go ahead and select this base and rotate it about a point like that and probably rotate this one like so. And I'm also going to do the same thing for this other one. So once we have this folded, we can preview this to see what we have. All right, so let's take a look. And at the same time, we can choose to store this pose. So storing this pose is pretty easy. So let's go ahead and close that. All we need to do is click on the button and then we can replace with right hand gesture and that will replace it. Let's position this properly. So there we have it. So once you hit on the preview button, press the space bar, you can now move to individual key poses that you've made for the hand so this is going to save you a lot of work especially if you have characters and you like to bring these characters to life you can easily now make some motions and attach them to your model so for those who would also like to record stuff if you hit the record button right now and you press the space bar you can literally record on both hands or you can record on the individual hands so once you're done recording you can choose to press the space bar one more time and this would store the recording for you so at this point you can now record this export it out to your 3d program of choice and get started with playing with it something else to keep in mind is that the hand gesture puppeteering tool comes in a couple of presets so if you click on the load button you can load the male preset the female preset and also the default preset you can also set your motions however you want them so maybe you have some sort of custom motions you want to work with you can set these custom motions if you like to increase the number of stuff okay so if you like to increase the number of blending time that you get in between these you can also increase these as this by default is set to six and for those who want to create custom shapes or custom target points and save them once you are done setting this you can click on the save button and save your own preset so that you will be able to use this later so for those who like to check this out link to this is going to be in the description so you can take a look at it cool and pretty lovely add-ons are right here and you can also get tons and tons of tremendously cool and free add-ons from the folks at Relution. So if you would like to get Relution, iClone, or maybe you want to get Character Creator, Skin Gen, or any of the amazing tools that they've created, you can simply go over to the link in the description and take a look at these things and get started with it. And the best part is Relution softwares are not subscription based, they are all one-time payments and you get to keep it forever. So links to this is going to be in the description, links to the Discord, and links to several other cool tools and also several other places where you can find free stuff is also going to be in the description so do well to check these things out and that's definitely going to be about it if you like this video or you learned something from this you can go ahead and give it a like and don't forget to share with a friend and if you're new here it's going to be amazing for you to hit the subscribe button and also turn on the notifications so that you don't miss the next video or the next update and until i see you guys again with a tutorial update free friday tutorial tuesday tips and tricks things like this peace